bag I'd like to talk to you about today is the Coach Field Tote 40 in pebble leather. I believe the color is navy. It's some kind of really deep blue color. As you can see, Field Tote 40 is, is a really big tote. Look at the size. I think it's at least an inch wider than the Dempsey 40 tote from their outlet. And for the bottom, they have this extra layer of leather, smooth leather, to support the bottom, and then also four metal, metal feet. So if you put it on the floor, it's, hopefully it doesn't directly touch the ground. But I think with this, with this size, if you carry a lot of stuff, unless you use a base shaper or bag organizer, it, it slightly will still touch the ground. So the ladder on this field top 40 is attached with rivets. It's much stronger because with the rivet holding it, both rivets holding the strap to the bag, it will be able to hold on to heavier heavier stuff but at the same time it will always stay it will always stay as this shape it's, you you can't really like bend it down I'm not sure maybe if you use it for a long time and it, it gets soft enough maybe you will but for now it, it won't and the filter 40 has these two D ring on the side that's and it comes with a, a strap that you can carry adjustable strap that you can carry as shoulder shoulder bag or cross body bag. And then, since this this tote doesn't have zipper closure, we use this this flap that has magnetic magnetic closure for this bag. Let's see. This is a strong, strong magnetic closure, but not too strong, not the strongest I have encountered. So I believe if you will carry a lot of stuff, this may pull open. I think I have a feeling that the one on Dempsey 40 seems stronger, the magnetic. So this is rather a, a simple tote. It's a it's a black hole inside. It doesn't. It's lined with it's lined with a uh, smooth pebble leather. But other than that, it doesn't have any pockets or zipper pockets, slip pockets for for your organization needs. So you will have to dump everything inside or use a bag organizer. So the nice thing is the back, the tote does come with a pebble leather pouch that in same color with the tote. It's a fairly good size tote, fairly good size pouch. And on the inside, it's also lined with the same smooth leather. Also, it doesn't have any pockets. And then on one side, you see there are story patches here. The story patch is not inside the tote. So if you lost this part, then your tote will be, will be without a, this coach crit story patch. And it, it comes with this lobster clutch thing that you can either hook onto the the D-ring, small D-ring on the side inside here or if you just want to carry this on its own when you're going out for dinner, lunch or just grocery run it's pretty convenient it's, it's big enough to carry your wallet, your phone and any essential you need on a short trip out
So I didn't get this directly from Coach website. When I first found out about it, it was already gone, already sold and gone from their website. And I had been looking for this bag for a while and eventually I found it on Poshma. I think I paid about $500 for this bag. And above $500, Poshma, they do authenticate the bag. So, so that you don't have to worry that if you run into scammer or anything because lately Poshma really full of spam and scammer. I haven't been shopping on Poshma lately. It's just frustrating and scary and it's not efficient in terms of using my time to shop and find things I want. So the bag came in new condition. It came with your typical coach box and I think all the hardware was still in factory wrap when it came. So I was really happy with this purchase as you know if you go on coach website right now the price for this tote bag is much higher than $500. So, But if you love a big tote for travel I would recommend it especially if you go on a road trip that you just keep it in your car, I think that would be great. I'm not sure that I would use it to travel on the airplane because as you can see, the, it's a pretty tall bag. I'm not sure you, you could push this under the seat or not. It may be too big for under the seat. And for overhead cabin, I would worry things roll out because it's really, the closure is really not, not that strong. Unless I use a bag organizer that has a closure inside, I probably wouldn't I probably wouldn't use it on an airplane. So from the website they say the ladder they use is the polish pepper ladder. Based on the description, I assume it is some kind of top grain ladder. They probably polished off the imperfection on on the top layer of the cowhide cowhide so to achieve a more perfect and even look for the leather texture so I would say this bag could be quite durable and it's full leather it's definitely worth the price if you love a big tote so later on I will sh show you how it looks on my body how you carry it different way yeah i hope you like today's video and i have more bags that i like to talk about with you and but for today is this coach field 40 in pebble leather one of my favorites I'm going to use it more during fall and winter when I wear a coat and jacket. I think it would be nice to have a big size tote like that to carry those stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again next time. So this is how it looks when you carry it on the, just on the handles. I'm fine knife if, if that's for comparison. And then you can hook this up. As you can see, the Manex is not very strong on this field tote. Maybe some is stronger, but not this one. So this is the shorter setting. It drops around my waist here, probably a little bit slightly lower than my waist.
I like to carry my crossbody pretty high up, but it's up to you. If you want it to go lower, you can definitely extend extend the strap a lot more. And so much more you can extend the the length of this strap so it's up to you on how you like to carry this back. Personally I like to carry cross cross body like this and it's easier to take things in and out. It's empty inside right now, so it looks a little bit floppy, but and the front has forgot to talk about this coach coach batch logo. It's pretty subtle, it's not like the other color that it jumped out more. But this one is it almost blend in. Thanks.